Okay, so we're coming out into a clearing here, and right away I can look, and I can see a water indicator right now. Um, a water indicator is a plant that tells me where water is, even though I can't see that there's a water source there. I knew that it was there because when I was scouting around, I saw those cattails sticking up there. Now, aside from being an edible, um, basically year-round, there's a parts of it you can eat. It's also a water indicator, just like a willow. Uh, so it tells me that there's water there. There's also sycamores there, which are commonly found around water. But anyway, uh, cattail, water indicator, wild edible, extremely valuable plant. Okay, so I'm here at the water source, and this is the water source that I scouted out earlier. And when you look around, I mean, it's, it's overgrown with, with uh, aquatic plants. Uh, there's bugs, it's dirty. You know, we're standing in the mud right now, but you know, you, you don't always get to drink the water you want. You, you, gotta, you gotta figure out how to drink the water you get, okay? And this is what I've got. And uh, I'm not gonna allow myself to dehydrate because of some aversion to what could possibly be dirty here. The other part of that is um, I know because I can see all the tracks around here. I saw raccoon tracks, deer tracks, etc. I know that there's aquatic life in here as well. Uh, one of the best indicators that I like to use, especially here in the eastern woodlands, is uh, if, if a pond or a body of water has uh, amphibian life in it, like a frog, that's a really good indicator that there's nothing super toxic in here. It still needs to be disinfected before you drink it, but that doesn't mean. But it, it it's nothing. Nothing's you know super toxic that you can't just boil out of it. Uh, the reason being is like a frog has a real permeable skin, and that's kind of a, a a really large sensory organ for them, just like it is for us. But if it's super toxic, their skin's more permeable than ours, and your frogs will die off. Um, if there were no frogs in here, I did hear one croak a little bit ago. Um, if there were no frogs in here, then the raccoons would not be down here. They wouldn't because raccoons basically eat amphibians and fish, etc. So I know that this water is not that bad. Um, it's most likely spring fed uh, and it's just dry right now. But granted, it's a little muddy, a little gritty, but uh, that's it's probably going to be safe to drink after I disinfect it. So let me show you real quick what's in my water kit. I'm going to show you a simple water filtration and water purification slash you know disinfection more than it is purification but water disinfection so that I can safely drink this um, really all I need is is a cotton bandana and a stainless steel water bottle you know that that is all I'm going to use uh, so no place that this is running this is a stagnant pool which isn't my favorite choice but like I said you drink what you got not what you want so what I can do is make myself sort of a pre-filter and filtration does nothing more than get debris out of the water uh, that make it more palatable it does very little to actually make it safer to drink so this will keep all the all the strange happenings that are in this this pond water from getting into my water bottle And you can probably see up here on top a lot of that nastiness that got kept out just by the pre-filter. Granted, it's not going to be crystal clear water, but I got most of the uh, debris out of there. So I'm going to find a deeper spot so it'll fill. 
and I'm just going to top this off the rest of the way. Okay, so this is a great example of, of finding usable trash while you're out there, at least what appears to be usable. This could have some holes in it. But, you know, I carry a stainless steel water bottle, uh, single walled for the purpose of boiling my water for thermal disinfection because that's my primary means of doing so. But, having said that, if I don't have that for some reason and I find something like a plastic bottle, I can still boil and disinfect water in this. I can, I've, I've done it before. You just kind of keep the flames off of it and kind of slowly heat it up to the boiling point. Um, and anywhere that there's water, the water acts as kind of an insulator and it keeps it from melting and keeps it from flaming up. So I could use this in, in a pinch in an emergency. Okay, so I've gotten my water. I know exactly where this point is. I'm gonna to need to drink you know, a couple of these a day. So I'll probably have to come back down here and refill this, but I'll use the same process. I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna boil this so that I can drink it. 